So I thought I'd uh, compile a little video today. Just, uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about the Columbia, what I'm doing this time of year, you know, all through March and into April. So I thought I'd put a little clip together for everybody, all our Facebook friends, you know, I'll put it on the website, I'll uh, put it on YouTube, I'll try to get up. And I'll show everybody uh, actually how I'm fishing right now because it's phenomenal. It's, uh, it's indicator fishing, just like you would a chronomid on a big river. Hey, so that's today. So you're taking sport fishing on the fly, Facebook stuff. So I've had a lot of people ask me what I've been doing on the Columbia, how I'm fishing. So essentially, got my uh, my dry line. This is a nice course loop outfit with a dry line. So all you need is your basic chronomid setup. So I've got to my, I've got a nine foot leader here. So I peg my indicator, you know, right up near the top. I take my nine foot leader. I go down to my swivel. Then about you know three feet down to that fly there. So I've got a bunch of different uh, nymph patterns I use. I like the little beadhead pheasant tail jigs, uh, other pheasant tails, all different color, you know, different colors for your uh, for your thorax, you know, purples and greens and all the rest. And all I'm doing, essentially casting out the see the line right here, in front of me, these little pockets. And I'm just feeding that fly into these little pockets right here in the fish just start feeding all along these seam lines. And that's all we do is I'm just letting it sit in there. And every time a fish goes by, I catch one. It's just there up feeding everywhere. So there's a nice flow right out in here. Maybe you want to hit. Let's see, it's not ideal, but there's a little pocket there for it. I cast you. <clears throat> and leave it static. You know, tweak it once in a while. Get a little twitch. There, there's a fish on, just like that. Everybody saw it. You know, oh, that's a nice one. So that's all I'm doing, essentially, in these little back eddies. I'm just casting in down about eight feet with my nymph. These fish are all coming up oh, throughout this whole back eddy. Oh, look at the air time. And it's phenomenal fishing. And you need a boat. You should have a uh, an anchor system where I've got a, you know, this, uh, this Minn Kota with an auto anchor. Holds me in position, I can cast all along there. And you know, I'll sit here and I'll catch 20, 30 fish, all this size that I'm gonna show you, just sitting here. And they're all just gorgeous fish, whoa. And you know, the beauty is right now, since the water's so cold, they're, they're fighting really good. Try to get them on the reel. Yeah. And you're just waiting for that indicator to go down. It's just like chronomen, you just see it in the pocket, Give it a little tweak. Sometimes you see your bobber barely move that indicator and uh, just set the hook. A lot of times you're gone. From there, there's the kind of bows you're going to get. Look at these. Stop. There. Stop. Oh. Oh. Right there. Right there. That's the beautiful rainbows you're going to catch. Just steady like that. And there it goes. Be another day. And they're they're up by like literally they're up by the hundreds. You're gonna catch. I guess they I'm not nowhere to doubt 20 to 30 fish. Especially, you know, during these COVID times when you have to fish by yourself. And I'm the only guy out in the river right now. Yeah. Line out there again. There's a nice pocket. Right out there. Let's see if we can get another one. <laughs> kind of tough going on my own, but another fish are out there. I don't know if everybody can see the indicator out there. It's right in a nice little seam right now. Right where I expect the fish to be. Just give that fly a little movement once in a while. And wait. There we go. There's another one. Just like that. 
just like that. And we saw it just doing its thing. Oh, nice fish. <laughs> there he is. Little guy this time, but again, they're stacked. I could film this for the next, I could just film for the next hour and get to fish, I think, almost every cast. So that's, you know, going to be 30 plus fish. And no lie. And they're all, you know, they're all this side. They're all big guys, like up to 24 inches. All the way down oh, to these little guys. There's a, they're a little chrome bullet you're going to get. Little guys, which are nice. You know, you get tons of those. Off he goes. Oh, and that water is cold. There's another fish. Oh, gee. Big fish. Gee whiz. On the indicator. Wow. I'm gonna bring it back up. Oh, this thing is big. Wow. Oh. Shit. nymph right in the right in the top where they would take a chronomed look at this fish look at the size of that these are steady feeding look at that that's a 24 inch net it's like 20 inches look at that fish just chrome bullet oh there she goes beautiful oh Ooh. this is another another dandy this one is gonna take some time holy cow oh it's unbelievable Ooh. Can't even get my hand around this one. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Just a beautiful toad. Man. Oh, there she goes. And we'll, I'll have this all day. Like this will be steady. I, I usually come out around 12 to 1 o'clock, fish till 3.30. So imagine that kind of action for two hours. Uh, I wish I could do a show right now. Of course, this is the best I can do with the GoPro in the COVID situation, but hope everybody enjoyed to it. Watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.